public protector has immense power, but with that power comes great responsibility. If she fails, as she did in this case, to execute her duties, she must take full responsibility. What was also of great concern and a factor that this court took into consideration when considering the appropriate cost order is that the public protector made use of two different sets of counsel, consisting of senior and junior counsel in one matter and senior and two junior counsel in the other matter. I was during argument, however, assured that the third junior's cost would not be borne by the public protector, and I took that into consideration. These appointments, appointments must have caused an enormous escalation of legal costs for her office. This must be seen in the light of the fact that although two applications were brought by two different entities, they were based on exactly the same facts and dealt with the same project. Accordingly, they also relied on the same legal principles. One set of any of her very competent legal teams could easily have dealt with both matters. In argument, the decision to appoint two legal teams was defended on the basis that two applications served before the court. There is no merit in this argument for the reasons already alluded to. Th this decision by the public protector, unfortun unfortunately, shows a total disregard for the taxpayer who will have to foot the bill and flies in the face of her complaint about how financial constraints limited her ability to properly investigate the complaints. I am satisfied that the requirements for a personal and punitive cost order were met. As a re re result, she should be liable personally for at least a percentage of the costs incurred. I, however, take into account that the impact on her personally may be too harsh, as in this instance there are two applicants involved and therefore the court adjusted the personal cost to a lower percentage for each applicant. I make the following order. One, the public protector in her official capacity is ordered to pay 85% of the cost of the de Democratic Alliance on an attorney and client scale, which costs will include the cost of two counsel. Two, the public protector in her official capacity is ordered to pay 85% of the cost of the Council for the Advancement of the South African Constitution on an attorney and client sc scale, which cost will include the cost of two counsel. Three, the public protector in a personal capacity is ordered to pay 7.5% of the cost of the Democratic Alliance on an attorney and client scale, which cost will include the cost of two counsel. Four, the public protector in a personal capacity is ordered to pay 7.5% of the cost of the Council for the Advancement of the South African Constitution on an attorney and client scale, which cost will include the cost of two counts. Court will adjourn. There you have it, uh, Pretoria High Court Judge Ronald Tolme delivering the uh, ruling on whether the public protector Busisi Wemkwebana should pay personal costs order litigation over her invalid and unconstitutional report on the Estina Dairy Farm. Verdict is out. Uh, the Judge Tolme saying that uh, um, Kwebana should be held personally liable for a percentage of the costs and giving a breakdown of how the co court uh, adjusted the payment saying that the public protector uh, in her official capacity should pay 85% of the DA's uh, cost of two counsel as well as the advancement uh, cost of the uh, counsel for advancements 
of constitution, uh, saying that that's 85%, and also breaking it down as a 7.5% uh, costs order there. And of course, uh, the details on how those costs uh, will uh, cumul culminate into uh, proper rands and cents will be broken down in a short bit as we continue to expand on the story. But uh, citing several reasons, really, um, before making this uh, judgment, saying that uh, um, uh, this case is far worse than the Reserve Bank matter, because in this instance, uh, uh, the public protector failed in her duties because uh, uh, what happened with the Frieda report impacted the lives of people who, uh, the lives of the poor, who were deprived of a chance to create a better life for themselves. Just really looking at uh, the um, hard impact on the farmers that uh, donated their cattle there and uh, sacrificed a lot. And also saying that the pri uh, public protector tried to defend the indefensible and the public protector failed to execute her duties. And of course, uh, breaking news there, that uh, um, official story, uh, the public protector m should pay personal costs order uh, over her invalid and unconstitutional report on the Estina dairy farm. We'll continue to bring you more reaction in a short bit.